No, 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 no. Come through here. Come through here. Yep, there we go. All right. Oh, you, you didn't, you didn't do it. What's going on, everybody? It's Monkey Farm. We're back with some more Ark Survival Evolved here on the Pooping Evolved Seasons 2 modded Anunnaki Genesis server. We are on our new Primordius beast that we tamed last episode. I hope you guys saw it. It was fun. We died accidentally, sort of, only because our jetpack wasn't working, but we died. Anyway, it was fun. Uh, so this thing is crazy. It's huge. It's like way too big for a treehouse uh, platform. Uh, there is our treehouse platform over there. We're going to do some work building today. We're going to do some more, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Stuff so we can park some animals. We still have some animals over at the community center, at hometown, spawn, whatever you want to call it, area. And uh, we need to bring them over here finally. So I think we're going to do that as well. Here comes the lag. Check it out. <laughs> All right. Where's our platform? Here it is. Uh, we've got a couple cool saddles that I need to keep an eye out. Uh, let's see. Gotta keep an eye out for some animals also. Wait, that's my advanced crafting station. Let me get some gamma in here so you guys can see. Uh, oh, we need to put some lighting in here also. Um, let's look at what alpha saddles we have. So there's the generic ones. Um, Uncommon, Alpha Dodi, RG, Celestial Sarco. I don't really want a Sarco that bad. There's an epic uh, Alpha Carno. Uh, Alpha Trike, Mammoth, don't really want to die. Ooh, uh, uh, but it's only uncommon. But check this out. We've got a legendary Wooly Rhino. And I think we have one better. There we go. A Celestial Alpha Terror Bird saddle. I so would love to have an Alpha Terror Bird. Uh, man, uh, you know how I, how I love the Terror Birds. I had a really cool one last season on uh, the, what was it called? The Valhalla map for season one of modded and I had this cool the coolest terror bird ever it was so fun so fun to use and you could fly around and just glide for miles and miles um, anyway so we are gonna let me see where where did I put all my stuff I think I have yeah I got a bunch of railings in here hopefully I'm oh I'm encumbered so I guess we can't take all that can we take all this uh, yeah I think so um, so we're going to go upstairs and, uh, do a little work here. So I have, I have some basic, um, little platforms here. I showed you guys how to do this several episodes ago. These are, um, these are foundations, but, um, I've got it all on like the front half of this tree house and I'm calling it the front, even though it's kind of angled to the side, but I call this the front cause it kind of points out that direction towards the open area in between the trees. So this is kind of like our front door spot right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, put a bunch of ceilings here, uh, out to here, and I should have enough to do this for all six of these sides that I already have these foundations on. And then what we're gonna do is we're also gonna put some, oh, I can't put the rails, I forgot. Dang it, arc. Why won't you put a rail here? Why won't you let me put a rail here? You let me put the ceiling here. If you let me put the ceiling here, you got to let me put a rail on it. You know, why else? Uh, I forgot about that. All right. So um, I guess what we're going to do is only go out one block. So our platform isn't going to be as large as I had wanted, unfortunately. Uh, but we do definitely have to have some rails on it. And... I think I made enough rails to double, make them double high, because I don't want, um, I don't want the animals walking off the edge every time we reboot the server, because all the all the flyers start walking forward. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have like a little a little parking spot for every single big flyer that I have, so we can have like we can park our poison uh, Drake here, we can park our fire drake here we can park one of our uh wyverns here we can park another wyvern over here we can put our poison rg over here and our tranodons over here you get the picture so 
um, that's what we're going to do. And I wish I could just make these little platforms bigger, these little parking spots. And uh, <laughs> we could even put signs up, like whose parking spot it is, you know? Like this is, uh, what's my Poison Drake's name? Uh, Listerine or something like that, I think was his name. So we can put like a parking sign for Listerine parking only. That would be kind of fun. Um, anyway, so we're going to have smaller parking spots than I would have liked. Oh man, and we're going to have one less rail than I had planned. But that's what we're going to do. And uh, the other thing we need to do, we have a couple spinos and... Um, I wonder if we have, do we have any other water type of animals? Anyway, I want to bring the spinos over and kind of leave them in that little area right there. So I think what I'm going to do is put up some uh, behemoth gates on that little uh, river rafting spot right in between, like underneath the log. And then we'll have to put some spikes and stuff on the other side. But um, anyway, so I'm going to finish up this stuff and um, we will bring over some more animals and uh, get some get some more animals moved over from community center. Let's see what else do we have? We've got um, we've got a little fire monkey, <laughs> which has just been sticking uh, inside. It's been stuck inside all the time. Can we put a rail? That'd be cool. I guess we can put a rail. Can we put it both? Yes, that's kind of cool. Um, so I don't think that we need it too high on the back here. Um, I just want it so that I don't accidentally walk off. Because I'm clumsy like that, fool. Uh, and it looks nice, too, I think. Kind of looks good. Looks pretty cool. All right, so I'll finish this up, and we'll go bring some animals over. All right, we're back. Um, I was just coming out here to get some cementing paste because I was going to make those behemoth gates. And look what we have. Look what we have across the river. Um, I think that would be a... Uh, a good test for our new friend, Mr. Oh, we didn't rename him yet. By the way, um, somebody gave me a good idea that, uh, and I know it's a good idea because I thought of it too after uh, I asked you guys for some good names. Um, so we're going to rename our Primordius also. Um, I think I spelled it a little bit differently than, than was suggested to me, but here goes if I can find. All right. Here we go, Primordius, Primunkius, there we go. All right, Primunkius, come help us kill a dodo, Rex. Oh man, where did he go? Something, something's really happening with the lag. They, they have a, a fish, a fish thing going on in the swamp. There he is. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's it? <laughs> that's it? Okay, he's dead. Sorry, sorry for the, uh, for the anti-climatic, uh, Dodorex kill there. But I should, uh, there's, ooh, Broodmother trophy... All right, here we are at the community center. Um, I'm going to bring the birds back first, the flyers. So let's see. We've got Listerine. Let's get you following us. Um, we've got Bad, B-A-D, B-A Drake. Why, why is this not working? There we go. We've got that. Um, sleepy time is ours. We'll take sleepy time. Um, I believe that Freezy Drake is ours too. Um, oh man. This is going to be a mess. All right, Freezy Drake, you're coming with us. Freezy Drake. Okay. Um, is that all we have? I guess we lost our Pteranodons or people borrowed them or whatever. Um, we have, oh, we have that little uh, elite Pteranodon also, or not Pteranodon, um, the elite Dimorphodon. Yeah, that thing right here. So let's get him following us. Uh, we have our golden dodos, but they don't fly. Well, it's getting dark. 
Um, this is going to be a mess, so I'm going to uh, bring them back to the base and park them all in the treehouse. Oh, man. This, this is going to be messy. I should just put them all through the portal, but there's so many. It's like I could probably just have them follow me uh, quicker than doing them all one by one through the portal. So that's uh, kind of what I'm going to do, I guess. I think I got everybody. Oh, that, um, that other wyvern is ours, too. We don't have an extra saddle. Um, I guess I can just switch, um, switch saddles from this one, from Goldschlager, over to the other. Uh, I just gotta make sure I don't leave anybody behind. I think the, uh, the Poison Drake is, or not the Poison Drake, the, uh, the blue one. I think that one's a little slow. Oh, look at that. What, what is everybody doing? Do we have everybody? Oh, this is gonna be so hard to keep track of. What the heck? All right, we're coming in for a landing. This is a mess. This is a mess. Seriously, it's a mess. Um, I think if I can just find the treehouse, the sleepy time's all up in my butt and I can't see. Um, but let's see. If we can land this guy here, um, we can first get on sleepy time, I think, and park him somewhere. Um, let me get some gamma up so we can actually see. Uh, yeah, look at that. That is just a mess. We're going to back him up. Put him over here next to uh, the Quetzal we never named. There's your little spot right there. Oh, I forgot to unfollow you. Oh, what a mess. All right. Sleepy time. Follow me over here. Where... Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna park you again, even though we already did. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, okay, and let's see. Let's get that little uh, what do you call that thing? Dimorphodon thing. We would hop on you, sir. And oh, that's not that's not what we want. We want to get you following us instead, and then we'll hop on you. Oh wait, where'd you go? There you go. All right, you, sir. Oh man, this is a mess. We can park you in there with sleepy time, maybe. Actually, you should be down on the next level because you're a small bird. All right. Uh, we'll park you somewhere around here. We still have to put up some rails around the uh, the mid-level here. Um, you can park here for a while, sir. Uh, let's see. How many levels have you gotten? Let's see. Let's get you up to 30 or 3,000 melee. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Check it out. We're back. Uh, we've got the two wyverns in the kind of the middle uh, it would be cool if I could whistle for them to all do their fire breath because we've got the two wyverns and then in between all of them we've got the uh, the green, red, and blue uh, drakes that all have their different color uh, fire breath. So that would be super cool. The Quetzal over there, of course, doesn't breathe at all. Um, thing is, uh, these wyverns can still walk over the edge. So I think I may even have to build the wall higher than three rails uh, so that they don't walk off the edge. I think the drakes are good with three, three, what you want to call it? Three, uh, railings, um, piled up high. And then down here, I'm going to put sleepy time and, uh, and I, our dimorphodon in the meantime. Um, I still need, let's see. Oh yeah. We've got the gates. Uh, Uh, let me grab the gates here. We've got two two gateways, and I think I made two of the big glass behemoth gates. Yes, I did. Um, also want to make some metal um, spiked walls, right? Make those in here. So what do I need for that? I need some fiber. Actually, I think I have a lot of fiber. I was converting my, whatchamacallit? my polymer over there so let's do let's do a bunch of spike walls for the other side thing over there let's see how many can we make Ooh, only five we're gonna have to make more than that what do we need um oh we need hide 
I know I've got tons of hide around here. Um, all right, so why don't we why don't we go down over here? And we will take why don't we take out our Dodo Rex for protection? Uh, there we go. There we go. Dire Bear in the yard. Whoops, that's not good. Uh, I can't see. Yeah. Um, all right. So, looks like no, no terror birds or anything scary out here at the moment. Uh, there's one. Oh man, this guy's fire doesn't go very far, does it? Um, Alright, so where do we want to put these walls, or the, these big gates? So, let's see, we've got some nasty stuff probably up on the top of these cliffs. So we're going to have to put the spiked, um, the spiked walls, I think, would be good for there. Um, we can put, let's see, how big are these things? Like right here? Uh, does this guy go backwards? Yeah. Um, I don't want to have to put any walls next to it, so I want it to fit perfectly in between these rocks. Um, so nothing, whoops, what did, what, what just happened there? Oh, I right clicked. Okay. Um, where can I put this thing that would be best? Um, things can still get through there, right? So I may have to put some stuff up on the right also. Um, yeah. All right. All right, come on, center it up, center it up. You can do this. Is that, is that gonna work? Um, hmm. There. I'm sick of sick of trying to align it. There we go. All right, so we've got we've got a big behemoth gate there. We've got a dead raptor here and some dead bugs. All right, we're over here on the other side now. Um, I would like to. I wish. I wish um, this behemoth gate was on the other side of where this, uh, where the gate is going to go here. Um, that way we could have it like protected on the inside, but we can't. So we're just going to have to, um, oh, it doesn't look like this is going to block everything we want to block. So we're just going to have to kind of go, well, it doesn't matter. I guess, I guess if little things get through our spinos are going to be able to kill them. So it doesn't really matter. Um, this is really just to keep some big, is just to keep big stuff out in case something big wants to go in that can kill our spinos because they're poison spinos. They don't have a lot of melee, you know, so they're just they're just made for uh, for knocking stuff out. All right, so we've got our two behemoth gates there. Let's get our dodo rex back inside. Oh, we gotta close the gate. Um, we'll do that, and um, I guess we'll go pick up our spinos and put them in there, and then we need to put some spike walls around the upper cliff on the outside so that nothing uh, nothing crazy gets in and, um, and hops off the edge. So um, we'll be back. All right, now we're going to light up the portal or the stargate, and then we'll have the first spino... Follow us through. Ready? Come on. All right. So come on through. Follow us through. Go through the portal. Are you going through the portal? Is everybody going through the portal? Is everybody following? Oh, they're not following him. No, 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 no. Come through here. Come through here. Yep. There we go. All right. Oh, you, you didn't, you didn't do it. You cheated. You went around. There we go. Did, did you go through? Ah. All right, anyway, we'll leave that guy here, it doesn't matter. Um, hopefully everybody else is out here. Oh man. Uh-oh, this is not good. I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, hopefully everybody is still following this guy. Oh man, this is nuts. All right, so we can leave our two Spinos here. They're gonna be pretty safe, I think. 
at least for a second while I pick up all the uh, the scraps here we've got we've got that guy needs to follow us where is where's our terror bird we'll get him following us um, we have another dodo a golden dodo oh yeah he's over on the other side still all right so we're gonna open up this gate we're gonna get these guys at least in the house that'll be safe enough for now so now we've got our two spinos here in our little our little fishing hole hopefully uh the the fishing poles come out soon because i want to build a little fishing hut around here um but let's see i guess i guess what we can do now is um we can put these guys on neutral so that um, something comes in here and attacks them, they'll defend themselves. Because right now, I think uh, they were on passive. They were just hanging out, waiting to die or whatever. So, let's see. All right, so you guys are safe now. Um, let's get into the house here real quick. All right, we're here with our final load of animals. We've got our fire monkey and our fire frog. And um, I guess I found out that now you can kind of transport on the teleporter rings while you're riding animals. It used to not work. Um, so let's go ahead and put Mr. Froggy over here. And it's getting dark again. Um, let's put Mr. Fire Monkey in the corner over here. Ah, oh, dude, you get your own spot. Come on. Uh, pick up, pick up. All right, we'll put him like right there. How's that? Wow, it gets so dark here. Anyway, um, we have like every animal or every important animal here moved over to the base. I'm so excited about that. And everything is secure except uh, we still have to put, let's see, we still have to put some spike walls over there on that little cliff so that our spinos will be fully safe. Um, but other than that, yeah, everybody's here. We're all big one reunited family here again here at the base. And um, that is super cool. I brought over my other, um, what do you call the big spiders? I forget what they're called. Uh, we brought over our little brood mother, our second one. So now we have both of our brood mothers here. Um, so cool. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. It's getting dark. I hope you guys, well, I can't even see anything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's see if we can get some light over here. And uh, thumb it up if you enjoyed it. And make sure you're subscribed. And we'll see you all later.